at all this flowstone, guys. Yeah. Ah, oh, so freaking pretty. Their feathers. Now with the emus, the female lays the egg. The male sits on the nest four to six weeks without uh, ever getting up to go to the bathroom or to eat. Wow. So the eggs. Oh, you got your finger. <laughs> you want to pet it? <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot? Yeah. You know that animal? Yeah. How about we go to the kangaroos? Go over here and see the albino wallaby. See the albino wallaby? <laughs> nice to meet you, Eve. Spring, they each had a baby joey. One of them uh, still has the joey. The other one we uh, took and we're raising it with a surrogate pouch. And we use it for animal shows oh, yeah. and stuff like that. The albino wallabies, they don't like the sunlight to hurt their eyes. If it gets hotter, they'll stay inside more. So now's actually a good time to actually see them. They <laughs> no, you go ahead. Is that yummy? Hey, can you can you get your face a little lower? Oh, look, Jeremiah has a little baby feeding. Oh, <laughs> Jeremiah, baby. you found your size. Oh, <laughs> then she can have one in the pouch and then one outside the pouch. That's why. So it's it's like a circle. Once they leave the pouch, she moves another one up. It just keeps on going. But when they're first born, they're the size of a lima bean. They have chest to the pouch. That's probably about eight inches or so. And into the pouch by itself. The only thing she can do to help it is lick her chest and make an easier movement for it. But once it gets to the pouch, she'll squirt milk at it. It'll latch onto that nipple, that nipple enlarge and lock it on. So when she's jumping around, she can't, you know, lose it. And it'll stay that way the first month or two. So they are locked onto it. Wow. Aww. Tickle spot. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> you want a bird? Put your hand out. You don't want to hold him? Hey, Grace, what's on your head? It's cleaning you. Can you say it's a lorikeet? Did it bite through the. Yes. Oh wow, Sam! Yes, it's good through. See, just go up top and you can see it speak. Well, you could see it speak. <laughs> They're determined! Speak. Go ahead, eat it. Don't go ahead, eat it. <laughs> I need it so that you don't kill yourself. Oh, I got a nibbler! Oh! Um, can you take this before what? you at all? <laughs> ah. Can you put the bunnies off my head? No nipples, and they're trying to nibble my hair. <laughs>
They really don't bite that hard. No. No, they usually tickle. They're all trying to eat my necklace. Though. Come Look. on. There we go. Oh, yeah, one right there behind you. Look. They see the necklace and I think uh, they think it's berries. I don't mind, bud. Go ahead. I got one under my neck. I got one. They're all nibbling on my they're amber necklace. It. <laughs> I guess they think it's berries, so they're trying to squish it to get the nectar out. I think they like my scrunchie, too. <laughs> So the zookeepers took them home at night, got up with them, fed them by a bottle of everything. And then this year they've got big enough we bring them out here during the day. And they are absolutely spoilt rotten and little pigs. <laughs> That's Hobo, Honey, and Stella. We have them on our farm, so we can come to be Oh, yeah. We used to, uh, as a kid, we raised goats, cows, yeah. Whoa, those are some big horns. Wow. Hi, big horn. Let's see what the sign says. That one's for the horse. What kind of goats you got out there? All kinds of good stuff. All kinds. Look there. Look at the little baby. There you go, you go. Grace, you want some food? Put your hand out, baby. They're gonna like it. You gotta love it. Hello, you lucky kookaburra. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra. How gay your life must be. That's the song. Little kookaburra in an old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he. Laugh. Kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, how gay your life must be. Are you gonna laugh for us? Ha ha ha. just landed on my face. A bug, sweetheart. I didn't see what kind of bug it was. Hi! Hi! Video, bud. <clears throat> Blue crowned cunier. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh. Hi. Hi, birdies. Take down, Jeremiah. This who? <laughs> it's a laughing cuckoo bird. Cuckoo <laughs> bird. <laughs> Jeremiah, tell me what it is. <laughs> He's looking at you like you are doing it wrong. No fingers inside, Grace. Turn. Try rolling your R's to trigger its laughter. Do what the sign said. Arriba. Yes. Some 
making me look nuts. You know that, right? Oh my god. You should see your lips when you do that. <laughs> Alright. It's not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Just one dog. Yeah. But how many sheep can one dog manage on its own? Hundreds. Hundreds, really? Um, the main reason this works so well is because sheep are a natural herd animal. They're not necessarily trained to herd. It, their instincts just tell them to do this. Um, basically, once a predator enters the field, the sheep are all going to bunch together in a very tight ball to protect themselves and they're going to go to the safest point. The safest point is me. Uh, so they're going to run her to me and it doesn't take very long for sheep to kind of like figure out what's going on. Our sheep aren't necessarily afraid of the dogs anymore. They're so used to this, they do it three times a day. They're not super concerned, but like, just about any sheep will hurt eventually. Um, they get. Why do the little ones seem to stay off? Well, they're not, they haven't quite figured out this whole herding thing. So, Belle doesn't quite see them as sheep either. <laughs> Oh, we're sitting. Jeremiah, he said stop and jump down and press the stop button. Right now, when it's an off, it's got a parking brake automatic. Let's go. What? That was Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you had your foot brace. <laughs> Jeremiah. Oh, 
where they do cookouts for uh, companies. Very cool. I wonder if those are real marshmallows on the stick. You want to go check them out? In a little bit. What time is it? It's almost four. What's the speed limit? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Squeeze. Everybody thanks, Skinny. Drive with care. I am driving with care. No. Just fast. Go care. Go care. Hey, we beat him. Yeah, we did. <laughs> We're going to go inside the gift shop. The man who gave us the tour of the cave said that this used to be a dance hall along with a brothel as well as downstairs there was a speakeasy. So this is going to look really cool inside I think. He said the original flooring is there.